first it was roads, now Google are mapping reefs. Photos of six underwater locations have just been released, among them Australia's Great Barrier Reef and the Apo Islands. Divers with the Caitlin Sea Survey are using special cameras to take about 50,000 images as they swim around the barrier reef. The pictures will be combined into high-resolution panoramic scenes. They'll also provide invaluable information about the reef's health. The world's oceans are facing a crisis. And at the moment we know that many of the ecosystems upon which fisheries and people depend are going downhill. The question is what do we do about it? In 2013 the survey will continue elsewhere, in Hawaii, the Philippines and Bermuda. Divers will photograph shallow reefs and for deeper ocean features, Caitlin will use robots equipped with cameras and sensors. So the big element of this project is to uh, essentially give those people access to uh, the ocean through virtual diving. They'll be able to drop in on the science, see what the scientists are doing and actually experience these marine environments for the first time. Google Street View's already mapped some 8 million kilometres on land. Luke Vincent, engineering director at Google, says making information about undersea environments accessible is part of the tech giant's mission. Our mission at Google is to be comprehensive, is to bring you know, data, to bring imagery uh, as, it, as it is everywhere. And so far, even though we've actually published three imagery on seven continents, uh, including Antarctica, we were not able to go underwater yet. And this time today, we've, uh, we've changed it. Many will never get to swim among the coral and other creatures at the Great Barrier Reef. But now, there's always the virtual version.